For me, dance is breath. It is everything. Um, it is me at my fullest, me and my being. The moment I fell in love with dance was grade one. I'm at an assembly at school and a classmate of mine gets up and starts doing a Martian tap dance. And that was it. That was the moment I knew I had to dance. There was no question about it. It was a short one minute thing and it just gripped me on a level that nothing else ever had. I was excited and I went home and talked to my mom about it and she had noticed a sign at her work for new dance classes starting. That is where I met Karen Suds. She was my first teacher and God had already got a hold of her life. In the work he was doing with her, in her heart, she had come to Calgary ready to nurture people in a dance environment where everything would be to the glory of God. The impact that studio has had on my journey throughout time because they were able to foster this relationship with God in my dancing, I am eternally grateful to them and ultimately to God for that. The dance Reigning Grace, um, would, I would say on a whole, when I look back over my life, is the dance I resonate with the most because it had meaning for me then and continues to have meaning for me now. So in this piece, there are th three movements and the first movement is with cheesecloth. And I'm on stage just bound by this cloth. And in that moment, in that dark space, in the quiet on stage, I am back in my moments of sin and filth and shame and um, my inability to help myself. And then the second movement is Amazing Grace to beg with bagpipes in the background. It's instrumental and this is where I can break free because of the newness Christ brings and the freedom so, and the power of that. And the third movement is when my friends come in and it's just a joyful peace with community. So it's just neat that this dance that I did back then was a physical working out of my salvation. I got to dance the story over and over for others to see, but I really feel like God was using it just to teach me over and over again. This is for you. This is what I've done. And I just got to, to live it. And I still am, even at this stage in my life. I can still think back to that and it's still shaping me today. And that was 15 years ago. <laughs> so on Sundays, I have started dancing at the back and I did this because I had a moment where I realized I would always have this desire, oh, I want to, I just want to dance this song. And I just wouldn't because of, I was fearful of man. And when I actually had the thought, I'm bowing down to man instead of to God, it was a, it, my mind was changed. And I just decided to go to the back and give God my worship. So one of the functions is to build up his church. I use it as intercession for other people at times. Sometimes it is just full on worship and glory for God. And sometimes I feel like I am getting a prophetic word. And so I dance that out instead of speaking it out. So to me, dance is prophecy, intercession, worship and adoration. When I dance, I come alive. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. There's nothing else that really can compare to it.